kids put on ice when their school suddenly canceled classes. All right, as Mike Sachs explains, the school CEO has legal troubles that may have played a role in the shutdown. Plant Lab promised the most advanced on-site plant-based culinary education in state-of-the-art kitchen academies. Instead, its New York kitchen sits empty while nearly two dozen students wonder where their tuition dollars went. You start going and you build up all this hope and anticipation for like what's going to come at the end and then out of nowhere you're blindsided and everything is canceled, everything is shut down, nothing is what it was seen. Angelica Galarza spent $17,000 for the full vegan cooking curriculum. On Wednesday, she and her fellow students gathered in Fort Greene to process their shock over an email from Plant Lab's admissions team. It read, it is our regret to inform you that all courses at all locations are canceled until further notice. The entire team of Plant Lab has been unable to contact the CEO, Adam Zucker, since Tuesday, August 21st, 2018 at 11.15 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Adam Zucker is the sole owner of Plant Lab and the only person solely responsible for all finances and location payments. The cancellation also applied to Plant Lab's Venice, California, and Barcelona, Spain locations. And while students have taken to social media to absorb the shock, Zucker reemerged on Wednesday night with an email to Fox 5 News. This is Adam Zucker. I did not disappear, rather dealing with some very serious personal issues. I have only acted in good faith with Plant Lab, and it is my life. I am open to speaking. The Plant Lab CEO reiterated his commitment to the company and his students over the phone on Thursday. But he didn't mention one big hurdle. He's likely going to a California prison in January. Zucker, it turns out, was arrested on August 21st in Beverly Hills. On Monday, he pleaded guilty in a Los Angeles criminal court to 35 felony counts, all related to his embezzling $2.4 million between 2011 and 2015 from his then employer. An earlier 2015 arrest when the investigation began didn't show up on background checks when celebrity chef Matthew Keeney hired Zucker as his culinary school's chief operating officer, the position Zucker held when he bought and rebranded the school from Keeney last year. Zucker has not responded to requests for comment about his crimes, and that's left students like Angelica Galarza in the same limbo they found themselves on Wednesday. I definitely want a reimbursement. I, if this school is going to continue, definitely want classes still. I don't know if I'll attend, but the offer would be amazing. In a statement, a spokesperson for Plant Lab tells Fox 5, quote, we are committed to the success of our students and sincerely apologize for our poor communication which, with them, which caused confusion and concern. He went on to say Plant Lab has been working hard to restart its regular operations and to continue our courses at all locations as soon as possible. He also said a letter from CEO Adam Zucker is being sent to students as soon as possible. A backpack drive kicking off in Hempstead today.